Welcome to video 194 in series 3 and now I'm going to edit the destructible cause distraction script. Currently destructible game objects that have the destructible cause distraction script on them you have to specify what layers they should actually distract. So what we're going to do is we're going to automate that. Instead of letting this uh, Manu you know, manually setting the applicable NPC layer, we're going to automate that so that, you know, it takes up the actual uh, layers that are relevant to the player. So go ahead and open that script. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is to add two new variables. Public string, player tag is equal to player. Private game manager, NPC relations master, NPC relations master. Inside of set initial references, I'll have the following. So that is if game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager NPC relations master is not equal to null, then NPC relations master is equal to game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager NPC relations master. Then if player tag is not uh, is empty is an empty string then player tag is equal to player so just in case uh, the play the, um, the developer hasn't set the uh, tag in the inspector or change it to something during testing or whatever okay then I'm going to add a uh, another method and that is void update layers to distract if NPC relations master is null, then return get out of this. Otherwise, for each NPC relations array, NPC array in NPC relations master dot NPC relations array, if NPC array dot NPC faction is the player tag, then applicable NPC layer is equal to NPC array dot my enemy layers break. So destructible game objects uh, always distract things uh, distract uh, NPCs that are off the tags that are enemies to the player. So they're meant for the player. I haven't made it so that, you, well, you could if you wanted to, you could change it so it can distract any NPC, but I've designed it so that it distracts enemy NPCs, enemies to the player. All right, so going up to uh, on enable, put in if NPC relations master is not equal to null, then NPC relations master dot event update npc relations everywhere and plus equal update layers to distract so subscribe that method to this event and of course we need the uh, corresponding unsubscribe so that is if npc relations master is not equal to null npc relations master dot event update npc relations everywhere minus equal update layers to distract uh, so that's it. So this script is done, and uh, we should just be able to jump right into Unity and uh, see it take effect. So let me just go down, have a look at what it looks like now. All right, so if I hit play, okay, what will it distract? Oh, oops, let me just turn off the maximize on play. And let's go have a look at the barrel. There we go. So the exploding barrel now uh, has the applicable NPC layer, which is enemy and evil max. So it didn't have evil max before. So now it's automatically setting itself up correctly. Okay, so I need to do the same sort of thing to the item make noise script. And I'll do that in the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.